My lab studies breast cancer metastasis. Metastasis is the process by which a cancer cell leaves the primary tumor, enters the blood circulation, travels through the body while escaping the immune system, and arrives in a distant vital organ. It's when these metastatic cancer cells are able to grow into new tumors and distant organs that they threaten the life of the patient. Metastasis is the major cause of death from cancer, which is why we focus on it. Now, the thing that's important to understand is your body is actively resisting the metastatic process. In particular, the cells of your immune system are constantly on the lookout for any cells that are in the wrong place without permission. There's a really interesting class of cells called natural killer cells. It's a great name, I know. And it turns out how they work is they're really good at killing cells that are in the inappropriate place. So they're constantly moving through the body, moving through different tissues, looking for problems. Natural killer cells form the first line of defense against breast cancer metastasis. And we were able to show that they have a specific molecular attraction to metastatic breast cancer cells and are able to very efficiently kill them wherever they are. But we knew from patients that metastases form anyway. So this couldn't be a perfectly efficient process. We sought to understand how it broke down. How did the cancer escape so that we could develop ways to stop it? What we discovered was that cancer cells, in particular the most dangerous cancer cells, are very good at corrupting immune cells to stop surveilling and instead help form new metastases. Once we made that discovery, we knew what we had to do. We had to figure out a therapeutic strategy that could interrupt that communication and keep the natural killer cells working on behalf of the patient. We used cutting edge techniques from genetic sequencing and from engineering analysis to identify every single way that a natural killer cell and a cancer cell can talk at the molecular level on their cell surface. We then identified several new targets that we could inhibit in order to try to prevent metastasis. Then comes the key moment. You have an idea, but you still have to go test it. So we developed strategies to be able to inhibit different targets mediating this communication between the cancer and the immune system. And when we tested it, it worked. We could keep the natural killer cells on the side of the good guys, looking for and eliminating metastatic breast cancer cells. When we tested it in preclinical models, this therapeutic strategy worked and was effective in preventing metastasis. We're working hard right now to bring this discovery to patient benefit by trying to understand how best to combine these strategies to prevent metastasis in breast cancer patients.